today we're gonna do a review well we're gonna do a unboxing installation and review on this new dash cam that I got from from Amazon 45 bucks so let's start with it right now it's made in um, s7 and it's supposed to be a 2.5k um, and a 1040 or a 1080k for the back it's two camera system one is in the front and one is in the back so let's see what's in the content in here Uh, here, so this is the camera itself. Yeah, looks really nice and slick. It's got a nice, nice screen back here. We're gonna test that out. Go for a drive and see how good this is. And down here we got the electric socket um, plug. Most people. And from my age, we call this the cigarette plug, but nowadays they call it the 12 volt plug. So this camera system works on a 12 volt plug. There are some other cameras I've seen that use your fuse box and plug it in there and get the power from the fuse box, like your cruise control. And the newer cars right now don't even have the cigarette plug. So if you're gonna buy one, make sure your cars have a plug like this, or you might have to get the other option where it has the connection to your fuse box. Uh, these are, this is the here's the mounting the window mount, the suction cup. This is the back window camera, and I'm sure it comes with a sticky tape where you could tape it in the back. Yeah, there's a clip right here. You could clip it to the back of your window. And this is the USB plug to charge up your to charge that up. And one great thing about this one, why I decided to buy this system, this dash cam is because it comes with a 64, uh, it comes with a 64 gig flash drive. It comes with a 64 gig memory card already installed in there. And most of these dash cams come with 16 or 32 gig. But this one comes with a 64 gig, which is very good. But it has a system where it deletes itself. After a while, when you, you don't use the, the recording, it deletes itself. And it also comes with a little tool for you to push and pinch these wires in, in the cracks. As you can see, there's not a lot of room. I've seen other people that do this and they put the camera way over here up here which is nice to get out of the way but you have to consider uh, in wisconsin here we get snow rain sleet even if you go off road you get a lot of dirt and dust on there you have to consider where you want to mount your um dash cam so that it's so that your wipers will clear it out so that you can get a clear image of what's ahead of you especially on a truck like this i want mine high so they can see down Smaller cars can go down on the edge down, down here, be fine, but with a truck, it has to be high so you can see the angle down. So a good way to find out a good spot to put it is spray your windshield washer and you can see the lines where the wiper runs to. So if you look up here, you see how it runs here? I can put my camera here, but if I put it here, it'll be in my way of my visual. So. If I put it over here like that other guy did on the YouTube, you can see that when it snows, it's it's gonna be blocked by the snow because your wipers are down here. So it's not gonna wipe all the way over there. So uh, another spot to put is probably right here is a good spot, but I want it so that I can see it. So I wanna mount mine right here, right above my mirror, out of my view at the same time it's high enough to see at the same time it's underneath the wiper range here so it, if i do wipe the window it'll clear it up so that my camera could get a clear view so the plan is because this is where my plug is i'm going to plug it here run the wire down um uh, you can go to the passenger side if you like and go underneath underneath there and back up up here and then up across but I think for me, I'm gonna go this, I'm gonna go the other way. I'm gonna go this way towards the driver's side. Go probably take the wire above 
uh, the steering column, come back down and out here and through this crack, up and through this crack here and around and then have my camera be sitting right here. The rear camera is going to go this way, across, down to the back, to my back window. And I think I'm going to put it right in the center back right here because my center mirror, I mean my center window there slides left and right that way but it doesn't slide this way so I'm going to put it right in the center here so I get the best view from back from the back. in the back camera here I ran it through here back along with the other wire you gotta give it some some room give it some extra line here just so that um, you have some some play room running running along the, the edge here back down through the same spot same scene and back through here and from here I'm gonna run it along this this plastic I'm gonna put the sticky tape on it I'm gonna I'm just gonna stick it in the back of my window this way pull the sticky tape and I'll stick it right here where I get the best view in the back. As you can see, you gotta push all the wires in. And right now it looks pretty flush. And now you can see it's on. Clear the, your visor as well. So your visor goes up like this. This is an actual recording of the front camera supposed to be 2.5k it has pretty good quality I try to zoom into this car in front of me here to see if I could get the license plate but the quality was not there when I try to zoom in I couldn't pick up the license plate but other than that the front camera is pretty good As you can see, the back camera has poor quality. Even though it's 1080p, I don't know, is it because I have it on my rear window that is tinted? But the quality is really bad. You can't tell the license plate, plus it's flipped around. I had to flip the video to get the right view. Here are the numbers that I come up with from my quality, considering this is only a $45 purchase. Here are the numbers. My, my overall number would be 6 out of 10. And that's pretty good considering from $45. All right, well, thank you for watching, you guys. I hope this helps you to uh, put your dash cam in there real nice and neat and tuck it nice and neat. So please subscribe and share. Thank you. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and share. I'm trying to get over a thousand subscribers. So if you could kindly subscribe to my channel, it doesn't cost you anything. Just push that button.
Thank you very much and have a blessed day.